Hello, Necessary Gaming people. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Thanks for not asking. I'm Colonel Crayon, and this is Wing Commander. This game was released for the PC in 1990, and it's up there as one of the finest space combat sims ever made, along with its sequels. Now, I'm going to be doing this kind of blind. Um, all I know, really, about this game is the controls and how it feels, um, because you kind of have to know that in order to play it, uh, because there's no tutorial in this game whatsoever. So, I kind of had to uh, jump in and fool around on the first mission and in the training simulator to uh, kind of get a feel for the controls. They're not easy to get a handle on, but I think I've got it kind of under control. I wouldn't call myself good at this game, though. But there's something I've got to tell you about this Let's Play. It's not going to be any normal Let's Play. If you've played this game before, you'll know there's no voice acting in it whatsoever, at least to my knowledge. At least... I don't have a version with voice acting in it. Now, from what I can understand, there's going to be a lot happening in this game at once, and it's going to be hard for me to play the missions and read the dialogue at the same time, because there will be dialogue in the missions, during the missions. So what I've done is I've rounded up several people from Necessary Gaming to do the voice acting for me. Now, I'm still going to be doing voice acting in this, but... I thought it would be a cool idea to have other people do the voices of different characters in a collaborative effort to make this less of a boring let's play and more of an cinematic experience almost. So to everyone who's helping me, thank you so much. Uh, you didn't have to, but you did anyway, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. Uh, I will be mentioning everyone who helped in a credit sequence um, at the end of each episode saying, you know, who did what voices and whatnot. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy doing this. Uh, and if you don't really understand what exactly I mean, just watch the video and you'll probably get the gist of it pretty quickly. Also, as a side note, you've probably noticed I do have a new microphone. I got it for Christmas. I don't have a pop filter for it yet. I'm looking into getting one, but I don't have one at the moment. So hopefully that doesn't become a problem. But I think that's pretty much it. So on with the game. So I'm going to be playing this with a uh, joypad. Uh, the game, uh, I guess, recommends that you use a classic joystick. You know, the one, I guess, that looks like um, a joystick that you would have in, like, a chip. But I don't have one of those. I have to use my Logitech controller that um, basically resembles a PlayStation 2 controller. So um, not as immersive, but it works all the same. So uh, let's start the Vega campaign, or the Vega campaign. I'm not going to say Vega because it reminds me of Vegetarian. Um, I also have the Secret Missions expansion pack, but I'm not going to do that yet, obviously, because it's the expansion pack. Um, so, let's go! Oh, what? We're flying? Ah! What? What's going on? Oh. Well, I died already. That was fast! <laughs> Actually, that was supposed to happen. This is, a, this is a training simulator. Basically, it's just an excuse for the game to ask for your name. It's basically a player profile. So, last name, Walton. Call sign, Crayon. Yeah. I play sixth. Well, that's no fair. So, um, in this game, uh, you are a space pilot, I guess, um, in the Terran Empire, um, which are basically just humans, Earthlings. Um, who are fighting against the evil empire of Kilra, the Kilrathi. Um, and uh, the Kilrathi, uh, if you're familiar with the Elder Scrolls series, they're basically space Khajiits. That's all they are. Um, but uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Elder Scrolls, they're just big cat people. And they're evil, and they want to kill us for some reason or another. I don't know. Just domination over the galaxy, maybe? I don't know. But um, most of the game, uh, in between missions, uh, is takes place on this uh, Terran capital ship, I believe it's, it is, um, called the Tiger's Claw. Um, I believe people call it the Claw for short. And um, here you can talk to different pilots and um, get information um, that could help you, give you an advantage in your next mission. You can also play the training, play with the training simulator, which uh, basically is what can help you get used to the controls and everything. Uh, that's what we were in just a second ago. It's basically just a video game, really. Um, what was I going to say? 
uh, in this game, you always play as the um, wing leader in a squad, I guess. Um, you have wingmen most of the time, hence the term wing, the name wing commander. Uh, that's most likely why it's called wing commander, because you're always the wing leader on missions. Um, you have wingmen, um, different pilots who are maybe, yeah, most, mostly, mostly on this um, uh, chalkboard here. It's a different... Um, pilots and their statistics and as you can see we're I'm all the way at the bottom no sorties and no kills uh, so that's that's sad but uh, we're new here so it doesn't matter so um, let's uh, talk to uh, shot glass here he's the uh, barkeeper um, we also can talk to paladin and angel two pilots on the tiger's claw very uh, renowned pilots I believe um, where are they? Yeah, Major Taggart and Captain Devereaux. Um, that's that's Devereaux and that's Taggart. Major James Taggart and I forget her name. Oh yes, uh, Jeanette Jeanette Devereaux, Captain Dever Jeanette Devereaux, I believe. Uh, so let's talk to Shot Glass here. Uh, maybe he'll have some information for us that could, I don't know, give us an advantage because that's pretty much what point of talking to people is, basically. Belly on up, friend, and take a load off. You must be Crayon. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard for Claw. Used to be a pilot myself. Till the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. I guess I flew with almost every pilot on the Claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old Shot Glass is the guy to ask. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Hmm, okay. Well, I think I will stop by when I'm off duty. So, uh, let's talk to, uh, Major Taggart here, Paladin. <laughs> Lenny, take a seat and tilt the glass with old Paladin. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant, like yourself there. We were flying patrol, or Accord, the fourth planet in the Alliance system. These four Kilrathi Southie came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What is the point, monsieur? There is one. We. Oui? I was leading up to it, lass. That day, we learned that a Southie will always turn to the left. It's got something to do with the way our engines and ducks are arranged. So when you tell a Southie, watch to the left. That's where he'll go when he makes his break. Hmm, that's some interesting information. I'm sure that'll be useful. Uh, the Southie is um, a light class Kilrathi fighter. I believe it's the lightest and um, most versatile fighter the Kilrathi have. Uh, but that's some good information. I should uh, keep that in mind. So let's talk to uh, Angel here, Captain Devereaux. I'm assuming it's de pronounced Devereaux because it's like uh, D-E-V-E-R-E-A-U-X. So. Bonjour, Lieutenant. You are called Crayon, no? I'm called Anjou. I am just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the Kilrathi. You would like to know what I have learned, perhaps? The Drothi is the Kilrathi fighter seen most in this sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy the Drothi, while over seven direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. Hmm. I think that will be useful information. Now, I believe the Drowthy, if that's what it's called, I already forget, is um, a medium-class uh, Kilrathi fighter. They're pretty common from what I can understand. 
um, and uh, I have a feeling they'll be, uh, I'll be encountering them pretty frequently uh, if my informa the information I have about them serves me right. Um, but that's some pretty good information. About seven direct laser hits. Uh, the laser cannons are the most the standard weapons on uh, most ships in this game. And 1.4 missiles, she said. We could talk to her again, but we don't need to. Um, so I guess that's all we can do here. Uh, let's go to the barracks. That's where we can save. And might as well save. What is that? Status. Hmm. Game name. LP1. And uh, that that shows um, that uh, there's a saved game on that file. Each of these beds is a saved game folder. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, exit to DOS. That's not what I want to do. Um, so this is basically just where you can exit and save your game and load your game. So, so you can save here and you can awaken this saved game, which is the same thing as loading, basically. So, so uh, let's take a look at our medals first. Let's see if we have anything. Right, so we have our wings, I guess, and we have two ribbons, and I believe they are academy graduation and flight training, I think. So, nothing special. Just the normal stuff. So let's go to the mission hangar and uh, get our briefing. We've got a lot of work to do, people, so let's get to it. The tiger's claw dropped from jump space seven hours ago at 0800 hours. Blue Devil Squadron had first patrol. You killer bees have the next shift. You rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Here are the assignments. Crown, you're leading Alpha Wing. Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. You're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. Here's your patrol plan, then. Computer, display Alpha. You'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near nav points two and three, so stay on course. Any questions? Yes, Commander. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Engage, if the odds look good. Let Korean make the call. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the commander makes the rest of the assignments. And back to Tiger's Claw. Remember, this is no train sim. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Be sure you do it to him before he does it to you. Squadron dismissed. Ah, well, here we are. So, this is just a simple patrol mission, I guess. We've got Spirit with us. She is a first lieutenant, so she's a rank above us. Um, from what I read of her bio, she seems to be pretty good. Um, so, uh, so we have to go to each nav point, basically, if you weren't listening to the commander, which makes no sense if you weren't, because, well, what else were you doing? Just have to go from nav point to nav point. Uh, we will have to go through an asteroid field, at least one asteroid field. I don't know about this one right here. Um, but if we do encounter enemies and the odds look good, it's my call, I guess. From what I understand, it's my call whether or not to engage them. So the autopilot light is on, so we can just autopilot to the next nav point, or close to it at least, so we don't have to wait, because that would be boring. That would be very boring. Excuse me, Commander. I have noticed enemy ships. Ah, over there. Now, we're piloting Hornets, which are pretty fast um, Terran ships. Um, simple. Uh, I can't see them very well. It looks like there's maybe three. Whoa! Yep, they're definitely the enemy. Ah, Drowthy. We know these ships because of uh, what Captain Devereaux told us about them. Seven direct laser hits, I believe, she said, and 1.4 missiles. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. That was easy. Uh, but it looks like uh, Spirit's taking on two at once, it seems. I should distract one for keep it off her tail. I may be the wing leader, but that doesn't mean I can't protect my wingmen in dogfights. I don't want them to die easily. Oh, there's another kill. Man, what is she doing? Oh, she's attacking it. So these, uh, Drowthy are pretty easy, it seems. Whoa! I to kill one. Domo. Ah, good job. Good job. Seems like this sector's clear, so we might as well move on out. Uh, alright. Hmm. What now? Alright, we're at Nav 1. Oopsie. Uh, there we go. Oops. Here it is. Closing in pretty quickly. Already visited. What? Alright, well we have... An but then let's go to Nav 2, I guess. Not sure why it said already visited, but whatever. Now what? Whoa! Asteroids! Brace yourselves! Or, brace yourself. There's only one of us. Alright, hopefully we can make it through this easily. Whoa, no, 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 no. I did not tell you to engage the afterburners. Bad, 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 bad. I want to increase my speed to at least 200 kilometers per second because that's the recommended speed, at least by the book, um, for going through asteroid fields. We have to be really careful. Because one of these things hits us right on, we are dead meat. If they clip us or something like that, it's not that big of a deal. But if they hit us, like, just directly... Holy cow. That was definitely a hit. That was bad. Computer, what are the damages? Light damage. Computer system. Hmm. Are we through yet? <laughs> Alright, one unit damaged. Oh. oh, looks like we're through, mostly. Yeah, we are. Whew. That could have ended very badly. Oh, and it looks like we hit nav point two on the way. I hope at least we did. Did we? Let's go back and check. Wait, no, we already did. What am I thinking? Bad, bad idea. It, it doesn't... It, what did that say? Mission flight path. Okay. Yeah. I believe we already visited that. So, let's head on over to nav point three. Hopefully we won't have to go through that other asteroid field. Computer system. Damage flight. Alright, so it's nothing. It's nothing too bad. Yeah, autopilot. Oh, you can definitely see the damage my ship has taken. Excuse me, Commander. I have noticed enemy ships. More of them? Alright, how many? One. It's just one. No, it's two. Two. All right, we can engage them. Yeah, two. Oh, what are these? Ah, Southie. These guys will be somewhat tougher, I think. We gotta remember what Paladin said. We'll most likely be turning left. Oh, no, no, no there's more of them. Three. Ah! Where's that other one? I gotta go over there and help her. Maybe it wasn't three. Maybe I was just imagining things. You get back here. Ooh. I'm gonna be careful. I don't want to hit Spirit. Oh, she's firing a missile. I've managed to kill one. Domo. All right, good job. That seems to be the last of them. Hopefully. Uh, can I engage autopilot? Oh, we're close enough. Yeah. Thousand kilometers. Objective reached. New objective. I guess we engage... Uh, go to the Tiger Claw now. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! 
Ah. Darn. I was hoping we wouldn't have to go through this. Right, this one's gonna be hard, I think. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Technically, we could shoot them, can't we? Oh, they don't seem to blow up very easily, though. Alright, come on. Fancy flying, fancy flying. That's what we need right now. Asteroid belts scare me. Not asteroid belts, asteroid fields. Because it's so easy to just take one hit and be completely dead. Just in one hit. It's happened to me before. When I was testing this. Yay. How close are we? Oh, we're close. So close. I think we're close. Oh. I think we're out. Still with me? Where is she? Oop. Yep. Alright. Well. Alright, you're still with me. Whew. Autopilot. Let's get out of here. I did sustain a little bit of damage from that. Ooh. Oh, that's a tiger claw, I believe. Tiger's claw. And communications. Tiger's claw. Request landing. Crayon, you are clear to land. Cool. Well, let's get in there. Hopefully we don't crash in. All right, there we go. Yay! I'd say that was a success. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. Welcome back, Crayon. Looks like you survived your first trip out. He is a very able pilot, Commander. It was an honor to fly on his wing. That's high praise coming from Spirit. You should be proud, Crayon. In any case, you flew well out there. I reviewed the mission report from your flight recorder. Let's go over the mission report. You got three of the hairballs, Crayon. And two Kilarathi for spirit. That's all then. Dismissed. Well, I guess we did pretty good. We got three of them. So, oh, it looks like we can talk to Spirit and Hunter here. Oh, Hunter. He's an interesting character. But um, I think I'll leave it for now, just considering that uh, this has been quite a long video already. So, um, I really hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Uh, hopefully next week, maybe before next week. I don't know, these are kind of hard, these are going to be hard to edit, edit together, so maybe next week. Um, I'll see you then. See ya.